based on your experience, right, what are some of the most useful combination of IKEA products for HDB homeowners when it comes to saving space in either the kitchen or the bedroom? Okay, uh, so normally for HDB, dining and kitchen are shared space. Mm -hmm. So there's a uh, kind of limited space. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can use an extendable table. Okay. Because uh, you should just choose a table that's just yeah. nice for like your here, right? yeah for your family yeah. size. So let's say family of four. So when you extend, it can be six to eight seating. Mm. Yeah, okay. so that's very simple. And then for kitchen, you can have uh, interior fittings that are suitable for all your needs and solutions. For example, you have interior fittings for all your cleaning supplies. So you don't have to like have shelves and waste a lot of space. So for example, like because the, it's near the cooking, right? So we always have the utensils and cutlery near. And then uh, all this. And it closes right? Yes, it's soft closing. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sounds and this is for your plates and bowls. Mm. And it, it's just very convenient that you can just yeah. switch it to the yeah. dining table. Would you recommend glass or like a solid opaque surface? Normally I would uh, recommend an opaque surface. Mm. And when you opt for external table, right, they are normally all uh, opaque surface or wood. Yes, uh, materials, yeah. yes. Because glass breaks easily, right? There's yes. And you can see everything underneath, so. Yeah, yeah. And if I haven't clipped my toenails, it looks bad, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, Connie, I've, I've noticed that the mm -hmm. trolleys are popular, right? Yeah. Even at the checkout line, there's a lot of people buying right. this. So, what's the deal with this trolley and why is it particularly in this room? Uh, actually, it's our best ever because okay. uh, it's very convenient and it's movable around uh, the house. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have guests over, you can just put everything in the trolley and mm -hmm. then move it around because you don't want to, you know, yeah. go back and forth. Back and forth and everything within an arm switch from the Correct. table, right? So you right? can just move it yeah. around and all this. Yeah. Yeah. And also the shelf is adjustable. So oh, whatever you want to store, right, you can uh, oh, yeah. shift it oh, accordingly. Okay, okay. So it's yes. adjustable so you height. Can Got shift it. the second mm. shelf. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on your needs mm. uh, and all this. Yeah. Mm. So what other users have you seen uh, customers buying this for and then using it at home? What other use cases are there? Yeah, this is a very versatile trolley, I would say, mm. because it can be used in any parts of the home. Yeah. So for like putting books and all this. Yeah. And sometimes, uh, yeah. like for girls, right, if you have too many like nail polish and all these things, you can put ah, everything okay. inside. So it can accompany your vanity, Correct. vanity mirror yes. and all that. Yeah. And I just realised, right, because I was testing it just mm. now, it, it fits the length of my MacBook. Yes. Right? So yeah. I can actually wheel it from my bedroom right. to my study, <laughs> you know, if I don't want to study yes. desk, that's very, yeah. uh, takes up a lot of space, right? Yeah, precisely. And yeah. all these, uh, like, and all these, and like this. gaps in between, easy for us to, like, kind of push through a, a, a charger or something, yeah, right? Yeah, correct. It's also yeah. for air ventilation. Also. Yeah. Mm. Great, great. We have here. Right, so for a bedroom, if it's a very small space like that and you have a very short uh, wall depth, right? Okay. So in uh, IKEA, we have PEX wardrobe, which is the two sizes, 35 cm and 60 cm. Mm. So you can also opt for a sliding door because it says space from the opening. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah. Do you have an option of uh, sliding, sliding door and double doors? Double doors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's hanged this way, so you can maximize the depth space instead of because you cannot instead of hanging this way, it can be like that. So you maximize the whole space, and then you can customize some drawers, and also uh, like my wife's stuff will be here. Mine probably be here lah. Yeah, I guess so. Right? One one section. Yes, yes. Yeah. Really, uh, I don't have any much space left. To put. And then the, like the usual things that you don't really use, you can put it on top. So you can actually change. You can change to a this double, also. Double rail, depending on the width, right? So if yes. I say I don't want uh, like a partition in the middle, I could yeah. like make it a, like a strong, uh, like a long. Uh, yeah. yeah, because we have uh, different uh, widths and size, ah, so okay. it's like 80 cm so and 120. It's yeah, so it's very standard. So you can combine as many as you like. Connie, tell me, what are the what are the easy to follow principles that that you have in mind when it comes to designing designing small spaces? Uh, so in uh, IKEA, right, uh, our IDs, we always plan according to these three simple principles first. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, activities, needs and solutions. Mm -hmm. So you 
figure out what activities is going on in the room. For example, like a living room. Mm -hmm. So the type of activities will be like reading, mm -hmm. watching TV, mm -hmm. and all these things. So like okay. for reading and watching TV, what we need? Probably a sofa and an armchair mm. and uh, some That's lamps good. and uh, yeah. table lamps, all this. So mm. that is the uh, needs, right? And yeah. we'll go on to the solutions. So what kind of sofa or what kind of lamp are we choosing? And then as for small space uh, living, we always choose uh, furniture that are stackable, foldable, extendable and movable. You sound like a rapper because all the words rhyme. They yeah, so that's why we uh, always remember it so easily. Connie, what are some of the things that homeowners need to, need to avoid when it comes to designing small spaces? Are there things that they need to look out for, be careful of? Uh, some people always tend to think that, oh, small space, we should have small furniture. Actually, that's kind of a wrong concept. Because when you have too many small things, it looks very cluttered and yeah. very cramped. I got, con yeah. I got so. a confession. It, yeah. That used to be me. I was thinking. Are you a hoarder? Yeah. I, no, I'm not a hoarder. She just called me a hoarder. No, I'm not a hoarder. I just like small furniture, but then when it gets too uh -huh. many, right, my house looks like, you know. Very cluttered, yeah. right? Very overwhelming. Yeah, because sometimes a simple statement piece. And you just called make. me a hoarder. I feel so sad. <laughs> but you're right, you know? Yeah. But I've yeah. turned over a new leaf, so it's fine now. Okay. There's a story behind all our room centers. Mm. So this is uh, two very feminine and stylish uh, ladies. Mm -hmm. So they are roommates mm -hmm. and then uh, they like to travel. Uh -huh. yeah. So we always try to show the personality yeah. of the room. Okay, Connie, mm. I can't help but ask you this question. Which is the latest masterpiece from your portfolio? Actually, in this room. We just did mm. this, uh, all these rooms and things uh, a few months ago. And what inspired it's you to, to shape the room in such a way? What inspired you? We always uh, come out with a backstory mm. for, for every room. Mm. So, um, from there, we do a lot of research like mm. what's the latest trends, mm. uh, architectural elements mm -hmm. in the room that we want to incorporate, and all this. So, this is a very casual and um, Cozy atmosphere. Yeah, it's a very relaxed yeah. room. And it's a very open space. And the like clues are littered everywhere. You see, like for example, the hanging right. headphones, there's two. Mm -hmm. uh, one for girl A, the other one for girl, girl B. B. Yes. No, but one thing that I can't figure out, you know, for two girls, single ladies listening to headphones, watching movie, and then you have the Death Star from Star Wars right on top there. <laughs> what, yeah, because the. What's the deal with that? Like, they are very kind of a trendy people. Ah, so they like okay, to mix okay. uh, because yeah. it, is, it looks very uh, like sci-fi, you know the light. Correct. It's, it's, it's kind of it's, it's nice, a very nice. Star Wars uh, space inspired lamp. That ah, okay. So Connie, thanks for bringing me here. Yeah. This is a nice setting for my next question. So imagine you are a forum. HDB, BTO, homeowner, mm -hmm. right? And you just collected your keys. Okay. If you could have any combination of IKEA products that you could bring home, right? Well, how would you then uh, design your own dream home to make sure that uh, it appear more spacious than it really is? Because every Singaporean mm -hmm. is concerned about space saving. Right? Correct. So tell me about your idea. Go wild if you need to, after all, it's your own home. Okay. Uh, so, I prefer open space uh, mm -hmm. concept, mm -hmm. so I don't like, like a lot of walls and all those things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a good combination would be Besto and also Ikat. So, Besto is a TV mm -hmm. console, but mm -hmm. it can also be storage. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, our Ikat uh, range, right, it's very versatile and mm -hmm. you can make many combinations, mm -hmm. right? So, okay. actually you can mix both of them together, okay. so Besto and Ikat and then uh, try to keep everything in line. What are the different rooms or spaces in your house that you will focus on in order to make that dream home come to life? So uh, definitely kitchen and living room, I will keep it open space mm -hmm. and then focus on my bedroom because that's where I spend most of my time. 
so like normally we have uh, platform beds like mm -hmm. not Lee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be a great okay. choice because uh, it's it's very uh, versatile. Mm -hmm. It's not like a frame. Mm -hmm. So it's just a platform where you can um, choose any kind of mattress sizes. Mm -hmm. And then the space extra. For example, if I'm in a single I'm using a single bed, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I can use the extra space for my books and even uh, table lamp and all these things. Ah, yeah. Okay. And then Makes definitely a uh, sliding door wardrobe to save space. Yeah. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Sounds like my dream home. Really? Thanks for the tips. <laughs> <laughs>